Hey guys, this is Chubbs, and I'm just going to show you how to quickly create floors and even ceilings that look as though they're reflecting the surrounding walls and uh, things. Now this is a feature that only works with GZ Doom, so if you try and do this with Z Doom, uh, unfortunately you're not going to notice any effect. So what I'll do is I'll hop into visual mode and I'll show you the basic setup that I have going. You begin just in a square marble room and then you move through this hallway and you enter a room with a marble checkered floor and torches all around. Now in this room I'm going to make the floor reflective so that it sort of reflects the torches and even the uh, like the walls and the ceiling. So in order to achieve this effect we'll just go back into 2D editing mode and all you have to do is go to sector mode highlight and right click the sector you want to make reflective give it a new tag so mine will be one since this is a fresh map then after you've done that there's just a, a simple script that you have to put in to get the reflective effect so just go up here to your script editor button and click it and then just like when you start off any script just type number include and then in quotations z common dot acs and then after you skip a couple lines since this is our first script that we've written for this map I'll type script 1 and since we want this script to occur when the map is opened type open and then press enter and then just go ahead and type your opening and closing braces that way you don't have to worry about forgetting either and go back up to your uh, opening brace just like I did press enter and then just tab over and that way you're sort of in between them and the one line of code that makes this happen for you is sector underscore set plane reflection and then in a parentheses you'll have uh, three values that you'll put in you can actually already see these being shown right now for us the first one is the tag of your sector so for me this will be one and then comma and now the second value will be the reflective effect on the uh, floor and as far as I know if you type zero there's no effect and if you type 255 it's the max effect to the point of you almost not being able to even see the floor texture so if you want to to get a value sort of in between you can type uh, something into hundreds but for me I, I like a sort of a subtle effect so I'm going to type 50 comma and then the last value is the reflective effect for the ceiling and this is on a 0 to 255 scale just like the floor so I'm going to put mine as 0 because I really don't want my ceiling to reflect anything uh, but if you want yours to you can you can set that to a, a positive value just like I did for my floor and then just do a closing parenthesis and don't forget your semicolon at the end of that line and that's basically just about all you have to do just click the logo here the uh, icon with the lightning bolt to compile and down at the bottom it should tell you that it compiled without errors and if you have multiple sectors that you want to reflect all you have to do is you can just put them on separate lines like a, let's say for example I had a sector with a tag of say three all I'd have to do is just type this just sector set plane reflection three and then just the values that I want like if I wanted the floor and the ceiling to reflect and I wanted them to have rather strong reflections I could just put 100 but I'm just going to remove that line since we don't have sector 3 but I figured I would show you that just in case you need to do multiple sectors so now that we have compiled it that's all you have to do and once you play this in uh, GZ Doom or Skull Tag or whatever this is what it should look like 